those who are new here, we bought this Sprinter van a couple of months ago in order to convert it into our new home on wheels. The plan for this van is to carry us to the sun and an adventure filled life in Europe and beyond. So far, we've removed the rear ramp, the unwanted panels, tackled the rust, waterproofed the trims, installed a window, a max air fan, a skylight, a visor, built a new floor and swapped out the double seat. Now this week, we're gonna get these solar panels on the roof. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Now, if you were here last week, you remember we installed this Unistrut ready to install them. These are the brackets that we use to attach the solar panel to the Unistrut. As you can see, I installed them on the panels. So I originally thought these brackets were gonna fix on top like this, but they don't really sit right. I'd have to come up with some sort of other plate to help that. Then I thought underneath would be a good idea because it's gonna drop the height of the solar panel, making us low, more low profile, uh, less wind resistance. So that would be great. After measuring the gap between the max air fan and the skylight, it turns out we are 10 millimeters too short so, I've had to come up with a new idea. So, the solution is, there's a standard bracket. If I grind off a little bit, as you can see on this edge, it will then fit inside the Unistrut. That way we get the low profile we were after. And as you can see, I gain 10 mil. But not only the 10 mil I need, I'm gonna gain it there. I'm gonna gain it here and I'm going to gain it on the two struts on the outside edges. So I'm actually gaining a lot more than I need. So we've got loads of clearance. The only problem with this plan, I've put the brackets on the panels already, haven't I? So I'm going to, have to take them all off and I'm going to have to grind them down and then put them back on. As it is, I'm thinking of adding an extra one anyway. It's got four brackets per panel at the moment. I think I'm going to go with six with them being such big panels. Um, so I'm going to get them off and get on with it. Okay, I'm going to set up a little grinding workshop here and we have got a John who is taking the brackets off. So that's going to help things go a lot quicker for the grind. The grind! And we can put the music on and just get on with this, yeah? Okay, that's gonna do for today. Uh, I've gotta to go back to work on Monday. I am taking a day off tomorrow because I need it. But we have now got one, two, three, four, five, six brackets per solar panel, and they are shaved down to fit into the Unistrut. So I'm happy with that. They will actually fit on the roof in a heartbeat. That'll be really quick to get them up. The only reason I'm not doing it is because the wires, there's gonna be wires dangling everywhere and they're gonna need drilling in through the roof yet uh, somewhere, and I'm not entirely 100% sure where yet. And um, not only that, that was it, I need some black Sikaflex to go with the gland. I've got a black gland to go on the top of the van, and I've only got white Sikaflex. 
I'm tired. I'm going to stop there. I don't know when I'm going to get back to this, hopefully before next Saturday so we can get another video. Anyway, we're going to pick up with you soon, very soon. So something else that happened this last week was we were saying goodbye to the little van. This is Ella. She was not impressed to see it go. And this is the lovely lady, Heather, who came to take it away. Obviously, I forgot to turn my microphone on, I believe. Um, anyway, this has been in the pipeline for a little while. I've been to and fro with Heather for the past few weeks to a month. And uh, yeah, she finally came to take it away. And we waved it off. I drove up the road with her in the big van just to, she's never driven a van before, so she needed to get used to it. Bye bye, little blue. So that is the end of an era. Okay, so we've got the tarpauling up. We're ready to clear out the van. Let's go. Please go on a little angle and then spray. But once we get in the back of here. I have had that van for about nine years and it was probably about five years in when I did the first conversion into a camper. I don't know if you've seen that video, that's way back, that was just a one video. Uh, then we did the second conversion and turned it into a more permanent camper van that would fit my tools in. And we've had it, as you know, down to Montenegro, Croatia, Italy, France. It's been all around the south coast of the UK. It's done France a few times actually. Uh, we've had some good times. We've had some really good times in that van. But uh, I'm looking forward to the space and being able to stand up in the big one. Um, but what it does mean, now she has sold, is I've got some money to buy more bits for the big van. We have packages. Should we have a look? That is our solar uh, MPPT uh, solar controller. So that's just a little bracket for the GT Touch. That's a smart shunt, which I'll be perfectly honest, I don't know exactly what it does, but I'm gonna learn that, aren't I? That's a smart shunt. If you know what that is, drop it in the comments and let me know. I know you have to have it, and I've seen it in other people's videos, but I don't exactly know what it does yet. That is some kind of data cable. <gasps> the GX, not GT, GX Touch. Oh, exciting. So this is my fancy little touch screen panel, which will go up in the uh, main living area of the van. I believe if that cable's long enough, I'll find a place to make it work. And that is where I can monitor exactly what's happening throughout the entire system. Ah, this is the Serbo GX. This is what teams up with um, the screen there. This is what makes it all possible. So everything has some kind of data cable. Every component has a data cable going into this, and this sends the information out to the screen. Ah, this is the Lynx Power. I'm not, again, 100% sure. This is where supplies come in and out, and we'll figure out more about this when we um, start installing it. I've seen people installing this. Everything seems to wire into these and then pass through them. It's like a bit of a distributor or something. I don't know. Again, in the comments, please, if you know what's going on with this. 
I'm still learning. I did very basic electrical system on the little blue van and it worked fantastic. Doing all this fancy Victron stuff is a massive step up and a massive expense as well, I'll tell you. At some point in the future, when we get on the road, because I'm going to track everything, I am going to do a rundown, a breakdown of all the costs of this van, including the cost of the van. It's a bit scary in the end, but uh, it should hold its value, I hope. Right, next, the big box. Oh, look at that, that comes off like that. Ooh, and there we go. Well, that is Tinky Winky. That is really small. <laughs> My mum had one about this size in her motorhome and we managed fine. And then finally this one, which uh, is not really a surprise as to what it is, is it? They didn't hide it in the packaging very well. So this is my waste water tank. So this has come with some uh, straps to hold it underneath the van. I didn't order the one that comes with pipe fittings because you know what it's like when you buy something like this with as a kit with all the fittings and I'm sure they'll be fine. But being a plumber, I'd rather buy the bits I want. I want to make sure I get big enough um, inlet for it because stuff going down the sink and down the drain, um, I want to make sure it doesn't block and it goes in all right. And I've seen that some of the kits, they send such a tiny little pipe for it to uh, fill. And I, I just don't think it's uh, any use whatsoever, really. Yes, we're a few days later and it is absolutely gorgeous weather. I am loving this, so I think we're going to get these solar panels up. John's going to come and join me shortly. Uh, I was actually wondering whether or not I'd be able to do this and have a video out this weekend. You might have found that this video is late. I don't know. It's, uh, it's after lunchtime on a Saturday. I don't know what I'm looking at that for. I haven't got a watch. It's after lunchtime on Saturday. We're about to install the solar panels. Then I've got to edit this and release it. It might be getting released on Sunday, but you'll know that by now, won't you? And with that in mind, guys, because I'm getting close towards the, uh, the end of my work, I am giving it full beans uh, on site so I can get this job done and get onto this full time. But with that said, it's just too much trying to get a video done, do work on the van and produce a video every single week. So I might take next week off all right so i'm just giving you advance notice just in case there's no video next week i will let everyone know but advance warning just in case but in the meantime let's get these panels up so i got a little bit ahead of the game today because i had a lot of head scratching to do before i turned the cameras on and i've got some conduits already inserted into the wall of the van this obviously is to stop the wires chafing on any sharp metal edges and it also means you can thread wires through and pull them back out again easily in the future if you need to. I say easily, easier than uh, not having it there. I've decided I'm going to put the gland up here next to the skylight uh, just on one side. Um, there, that way I can access it easily if I ever need to, if I feel I need to address the Sikaflex around it, just you know, monitor it, uh, maintain it, anything like that easier to access than having it under the panel. The two panels are going to be linked together. They're going to have positive and minus linked together. So what I'm going to do, because they've got huge long cables on them, is I'm going to chop them down and then do a link with much shorter wires. Now the connectors to put new connections on have not arrived yet from Amazon. They should be coming today, but if I wait around for those to finish this video, then you're not getting a video this weekend. I would much rather get this done, get it up on YouTube for you to see. So we're going to get everything done apart from that last connection. The other positive and negative from the solar panels will come along the roof, down through this gland, through the hole, into the conduit, and it'll poke out down here Will it be labelled positive and negative for future when I get around to building the electrics, which is going to be here on a big board. So let's make a hole, shall we? So as is always the case, nothing ever goes smoothly. We've just had to do a run to screw fix to get some... Uh, nuts to go with the bolts for the solar panels. I didn't want to start fitting them before I made sure I had everything. Town is heaving. It's taken ages to get across there and back again. But John's under strict instructions to help me relax because I get myself all stressed out with this because I'm always trying to get a video out by Saturday. And if I can't do it, I get all stressed and, ah, I need to get a video, I need to get a video. Plus the fact that I try to take Sundays off otherwise I don't get any break whatsoever. But he's been told to tell me to chill out it doesn't matter and I'm sure you guys won't mind if this video is out on Sunday and not Saturday will you right let's make a hole <laughs> so 
See if you can find that deburring tool, that would be handy. Okay. Thank you. Can I pass you this? Yeah. Right, that hole might look a little bit excessive, but what we've got here is a little rubber grommet that I want to fit in, and then that leaves a nice bit of space for the two wires to go through. So I've done that first because I can get a bit of hammerite on that metal now and that'll be dry by the time we need to put this in. So yeah, let's do that. We just had a delivery and I think, what is it, John? I don't know, open it. <laughs> Can I see? Yeah, that's the solar connectors. So we might be able to get it done today. Da -da -da. You're under? Yep. Good. You can slide it on the ladder, it's fine. All right, one little minor oversight. Because of the way the brackets go in, they angle in then lock in. We're gonna have to actually take this off in order to, we've locked in the middle one and we'll do the same with the second panel, lock it into the middle one. Then we're gonna have to remove this bar lock it in, then fit it down. It's all right, we can do it. John, yeah. pass me the thing, please. Ratchet. Right, we've got our nuts and bolts ready. So now I've just got to drill through all these brackets and we can fix this one in. Then the next one, now we know what we're doing. <laughs> one of them. Okay. Got it? Okay. Tell you what, I need you to do me a favour. Okay, this isn't fitting in. John, go down and go inside on the Max Air fan. Look, it's got the black wheel. Have you seen it? Yeah? Yeah. Go and twist it and it'll open it. I know, okay. You know, okay, good. Keep going. Yep, keep going. Washers, nuts, everything. Well, this was meant to be an easy task. Why is nothing ever easy? We've managed to, uh, we've winched up the Max Air Fan to get underneath there, but because of these ridges, I couldn't get a bolt underneath at the front, but I've wedged it with two. So it's got four bolts across the front, which is more than enough. We've done these ones. I've just got that one to tighten up. Now getting the second one in is gonna be a bit tricky because I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to get the bolts in once the two panels are wedged up together. Right, so because Amazon turned up, Oh, I'm about to run out of battery. Because Amazon turned up, I have got these solar connectors that I can fit on here. So hopefully I can do this quickly before the, uh, the battery goes. Let's go maybe a bit more than that. Then how have I ended up with two of those? I'm getting really confused. Bear with me. Sorry, I forgot to turn you back on then. I have now got the end on here and I've just got to tighten this thing up. And they actually give you a nice little tool, one tool. So I'm able to grab all of that, but nothing for that, but it's all right. I've got my grip. The second panel is up. It's not fixed, it's up. Sorry about that, the camera cut out again I think it got bored waiting. Uh, we decided it was easier to put the cable end on when it was down on the floor and the camera just went, ah, never mind then and turned itself off. I didn't know it would do that. Because this is such a tight gap here, I'm gonna mark these brackets. We're gonna lift it, drill them, and then somehow get the nuts down in there and get it fixed on. That could be a bit of a trick, but we'll do it. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. Like I say, I'm quite focused on getting the job done more than making a video at the moment. <laughs> I do apologize, but I'm tired. Anyway, let's get this done. One hour later. Okay. That's been uh, taxing, <laughs> to say the least. Didn't film any of those bolts going in because uh, it wouldn't have been appropriate, I'm afraid, listening to the swearing and shouting. That's been really, really tricky. A lot trickier than I thought it would be. And we've still got the challenge of, we've got three, nuts and bolts on uh, down the middle of here that need tightening. Now, John managed to get his arms in and get them fitted, but to actually get them tightened up, we've got a creation. This is John's, what is it? 
long spanner. This is John's long spanner. <laughs> so that's going to go underneath and then we can get the uh, ratchet on top and tighten them up, hopefully. Wish us luck. I'm not sure if this is going to work. First of all, right, I'm able to get on top of the nut there. Now we'll see if John's long spanner <laughs> will get on the bottom of there. Oh, try it the other way up, it might go. It's on the first one, John. Right, just push that panel so it's something in line with the other one. <laughs> it worked on that one. The biggest challenge is there's one right in the middle there, so we'll see how we go. I will pop those there and head up the other side. Whew. All right, here we go again. Let's see if we can reach the middle one. That's, the, that's gonna be the hardest, I'm sure. Ooh, I've got wires to contend with on this side. Long spanner has made contact. We're in. <laughs> John, it's working. I am very happy. Last one. Oh, long spanner is attached. There we go. Oh, get that on first. Get on. There we go. It's done, dude. Long spanner did it. Oh. Doesn't want to come off now. Long spanner. <laughs> okay, the cables are connected already. This one is linked to this one. And then the positive from here and the negative from here are both going towards the back. So I'm going to put them down through um, the gland through a grommet and then down through that conduit that I put there. And that'll be the job done today. Sorry, I keep shaking the camera on this panel. Um, oh, I just need to stick a flex down the gland, of course. And then we can go and eat. Okay, gland, grommet, wonder wipes, sicker flex. Let's finish this job. So we pop that grommet in there. And I'm going to feed that one through there. That one through there. John, yeah. can I have you inside the van, please? See that? Good. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Pull gently as I feed them. Keep going. This one I'm jiggling needs a bit more. Yeah, right, both of them. Whoa, 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 slow, 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 slow down. Slow down. Goodness me. Right, just need to go and put the wires down that conduit before I seal this down. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. I hope they don't stick on anything. Oops, that was not great. I'll tell you what, I'll put them both in together like that. And I hope they find their way through. <laughs> Hooray! As you can see, that's coming through that grommet. Now I am going to go belt and braces and put a load of sicker flex around and in and all that. And I'll uh, clip this up and tight against there. But as you can see, that conduit runs nicely down in the back of there. I can probably 
pin it up out of the way so I can get some insulation in. And it comes down, it doesn't need to be that long because it's going to connect to the uh, its switch and then uh, the solar controller somewhere around about here. So that is fantastic. Obviously one was just a little, oh it's there, the other one is just there, there it is. So that's perfect, couldn't be happier. So we'll just get the gland sicker flexed on and we can tidy up and it's job done. <laughs> I was going to mask it off to do a really neat job, but I didn't bring my masking tape back from work with me, unfortunately. So it'll just be, you know, what we get, won't it? I'll do my best though, of course. Okay. That looks good. Now that's such a good seal. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I don't want to mess with it. And I know dealing with things that are black, sycaflex, oh, or silicon, or grout, or anything that's black, man, it just gets messy. So easy to get messy. Well. As far as silicon related things go, that is not my finest work, but I don't care. As long as it doesn't leak, that's all that matters. No one is ever gonna see that, apart from you few thousand people who watch these videos. Hmm. Okay, folks, so I don't know if you've noticed, I'm under a lot of pressure at the moment to try and get these videos out every Saturday. I just can't keep up. <laughs> I'm getting tired and I feel like I'm not producing the kind of video that I could produce. So what I'm gonna do is take a little break next week, if that's all right with you. I do apologize, but the following week, I'll have finished work by then, and I'm gonna be able to give a lot more time and thought to these videos and to the van, which is great. So I'm looking forward to that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. We couldn't have done it today without the help of the long spanner. John's long spanner saved the day and helped us get these solar panels on. And uh, yeah, anyway. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share because that helps us out loads and we're going to need that in the future because I'm going to be finishing work soon. Little bit scary, little bit excited, little bit scary, little bit excited. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take it easy folks, bye bye.